Okay, so this is my uh, new uh, hacksaw blade uh, Morris paddle. It's the Mark II. I made one and um, it, it's very, very good. Uh, but I decided that there were some improvements that could be made, especially in relation to the uh, contact support mechanism. This is very sturdy here. So this is the Mark II. It's mounted on a very, very heavy base. It's very hard to move. It's it's not going to move during operation anyway. Um, so I had to file or sand and file um, the hacksaw blade itself and in the locations where the contacts are made um, because it's coated in this blue. I don't know what it's a type of paint or whatever. Um, but it was all made very cheaply. Uh, this metal base was a donation. Um, this is the part of uh, some bookshelves. Um, you know those wall mount, those single bookshelves. You get them in home base and that. And uh, it was cut to to measure, and and it's even tapered here at the end, which is nice. It allows the key to come off, and so is the metal, which is convenient. This is off. I'll show you what this is off. This is basically a uh, a roller catch. Again, you can get them in home base for, uh, I'm not sure how much it was, maybe three or four euros. So the idea is that, you know, you put that on a press door and this catches the, the roller mechanism and it, and it closes. So I just crimped that or squashed it in a bit with uh, vice grips so that it holds the blade in place. And the closer you have the holder to the contacts, uh, the more tension there is in the key. So this one has a tiny bit more tension than the Mark One version. I'll show you the Mark One version. Uh, the Mark One version is here. Um, I filed most of the blade with it without realizing that I didn't actually have to. So it doesn't actually look as good because the blue has been stripped off quite a bit. Um, you'll see that the support mechanism for the contacts on the Mark One version. Um, are made of eyelets, those eyelets that you crimp onto the end of your your your, your cables, your leads for your power supply. Um, and there are more screws sticking out of this one than the Mark II. The Mark II is a sort of a tidier version. So I uh, just want to show you just one thing. The, 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 these, these supports for the end of the blade and for the contacts uh, are these items that were purchased again in home base. Corner braces. And you get a packet of 10 of those for, I don't know, three euros, something like that. And I still have four left, so there's the possibility of another project there. And I still have a few bits and pieces of home, home base hacksaw blade. Um, so all done very, very cheaply. Either cheap materials or materials that were donated or found around the shack. Uh, the lovely thing about the contacts is that they're fully adjustable. Now, they are a little bit fiddly to adjust because the nuts are small. But I have them just the way I want them. One thing that I haven't really done in this, I did I did make an effort to try and tidy the cable. I made a little ridge under the, the wooden base. But where the cable emerges here, I, I have to tidy that up. So I'll have to find some way of doing that. Now I'm going to just find, try and find a uh, clear frequency here. And just CQ, just for a minute, just to, I suppose, show you the key in operation. Might make a contact, you never know. Go up on the CW portion of the band above because there's a, a D expedition in Juan Fernandez at the moment. So we'll try this. Important to get yourself comfortable. I find my I like my key at a slight angle to my hand. It's important to get positioned comfortably for for operation. Actually a few V's. I think it's safe to say that frequency isn't in use. Beam as we're calling it. 
Okay, we'll slow down the skiing speed a little bit. stronger now. 599 now. Thank you. 
part two uh, Morse paddle hacksaw blade made for the equivalent of about 10 euros cheap and cheerful so we'll keep you posted as to future developments and improvements but uh, I'm loving this so my, my, my unfortunately my Kent twin paddle is, uh, is going to be sidelined quite to be quite honest uh, and I think I paid a hundred euros for that uh, so that's going to be sidelined for the moment while I use the, the much cheaper but uh, very very enjoyable AI2KC Hacksaw Blade Mark II